All right, so here we go with our drawing. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. So let's go over the words. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Yesterday we practiced be, we practiced jump over and the. So a candlestick, Candles can be any color, really. I'm gonna make my candle blue. I'm gonna put it down here at the bottom in the middle. Here's my candle. The candle is made out of something called wax. And when it gets hot, it melts and it gets smaller and smaller each time. So, there's also something in a candle called the wick. The wick is a little part that sticks up like that, and then the flame is on the wick. The wick is the part you light with a match or a lighter, and then a grown-up should always light a candle. Okay, so there's, and then Jack. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlesticks. So we're gonna draw Jack jumping over. Let's see here. I'm gonna draw Jack kind of like this. I'm gonna draw Jack's body. I'm gonna draw Jack's legs. He's jumping over. He's barefoot. There he goes. He's going, ah! It's kind of hard to draw somebody jumping over. Oh my goodness, this looks a little bit silly. Jack's gonna have crazy hair because he's a crazy kind of guy jumping over candlesticks. Do you think it's a good idea to jump over a candlestick? His mouth's gonna be going, ah, yelling. <laughs> Maybe a little candle, but not a big candle. Even a little candle is not really a good idea. Right? We don't want to mess around or play with anything that's on fire. There he goes, over the candlestick. This leg's kind of like really bending. Jack's really bendy. Maybe he's a gymnast. He does gymnastics. I don't know. That's all. You don't have to draw anything else, really. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. I guess you could draw some ground if you wanted. Do the candles on the ground. Maybe, I don't know, if you want to draw like a table or chair, super fast.